keep it going for Frazier Smith. Well, not that much, goodness. It's good to be here, the Ice House birthday, the Hillside people, this is exciting. Yeah, and I got confused for a celebrity today. It was exciting for me, and then it turned really bad. This guy walked up and he goes, hey, are you famous? I'm like, yeah, I am. He goes, no, you look like what would happen if Ellen had a baby with the mean lady from Glee. <laughs> well, I do, but you didn't have to say anything. <laughs> when I wear a bikini, I look like a fat ostrich, but keep it to yourself. You know? That's what it is. It's fun to be out here. I live in L.A. now. I grew up in uh, Amarillo, Texas. What? What? <laughs> I know it's a hard state to represent, uh, but I moved out here, and if you come out here with a Texas accent, I feel like the L.A. people didn't really understand my accent. They were kind of mean about it. I had girls walk up to me. She's like, oh, my God, you have a stupid accent. <laughs> I was like, shut up. You say, oh, my God, without closing your mouth. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but that's way dumber than me saying fixin' to. <laughs> I notice people in LA don't say fixin' to. I don't know how you're supposed to tell people you're about to do something if you can't say fixin' to. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> well, people out here were like, oh, well, why would you tell us you're about to do something? I'm like, well, I'm always saying I'm fixin' to go to the gym, but I'm not gonna go. <laughs> I'm just fixing to. I like to put on my running shoes and my workout capri pants, sit on my couch, eat ice cream, and look sporty. <laughs> Some other people are fixing to go to the gym. Yeah. <laughs> I like it out here. I like being a comedian. This is a fun job. Everybody like their jobs? Got cool jobs? Most of you? Yeah, I, like, I didn't always have a good job. When I was in college, I used to be a pizza delivery boy. <laughs> That's what my customers called me. I don't know why, maybe it was the short hair and the hat or my goatee. <laughs> it was a good goatee. I say I delivered pizzas, but really I just drove around and ate your toppings. <laughs> they're really good when they're fresh. <laughs> you wouldn't know, but they are. Mm. You guys are all sitting out there wondering if pizza delivery drivers really do eat your toppings. <laughs> Yes, we do. I mean, how do you expect us to drive around all day, usually with the munchies? <laughs> Shh, y'all are supposed to pretend like you don't know what that means. <laughs> how do you expect us to drive around all day with the munchies next to a hot, delicious pizza? We gotta take your toppings, because we can't take a whole slice, because you would know. <laughs> I mean, what am I supposed to say if I showed up at your door with an odd number of pizza slices like, ugh. That's our new Pac-Man pizza. I think it ate one. I stayed in pizza for a long time because I really like pizza, uh, but that led me down a really bad path in life because for two years I worked for Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, it's right. It was really sad for me because I can't have children because I hate them. <laughs> Did you hear those people clapping? Those are parents over there. Yeah, they know. Kids are sticky. <laughs> Little shit bags. So, if your parents, you know, they're always covered in something like a weird combination of foods. Like watermelon and ketchup and honey and snot. <laughs> well, what do they want to do? They want to run up to you, you know, and hug you. And you're not trying to be mean, but you're like, back off! <laughs> if you get that stuff on my jeans, I will kill you. You have to start treating them like a wet dog. You're like, oh, get off the couch! Off! No! <laughs> Bad! And kids these days, oh my God, kids these days have absolutely no respect for a hangover. 
at all. They're always up at like 6 a.m. I mean, who does that? <laughs> Making all that noise, you're like, shh, mommy is sleeping on this kitchen table. <laughs> Get your Cheerios off my bed. I don't hate all kids. I got a couple nephews I hang out with, um, and man, they are getting big. I mean, fat. They are getting fat. That's what they are. And I'm not trying to be mean, but they got like back fat and muffin tops. They are six, you know? It's not their fault. It's my brother's fault. He's their owner. <laughs> and I'm assuming, like, because I don't know much about childrening. <laughs> more fun when you repeat it. Yeah, I don't know much about children, but, but I have fish. And how different could they be? What I think he's doing, I think he's overfeeding. Now, I've done that to my fish before, so now I'm scared. I'm like, are my nephews just going to keep growing to the size of their environment? I mean, thank God they live in a trailer. This is a fun job. I like it. I get to travel. I get to hang out with cool people like you. <laughs> yeah, just take the damn compliment. Yeah, and I get to travel a lot. In January this year, I found myself in uh, Bemidji, Minnesota. You guys ever been? You know where it is. Most people look at me like I made it up, like it's yeah, Narnia or something. So you've been there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you sound like you're from there. Oh. <laughs> Oh yeah, sure. You a Minnesotan? Yeah, you betcha. You, oh yeah, you betcha. Oh yeah. That's, it's worth going just to hear them talk to each other. They have that super sweet accent. They roll their O's. Oh yeah, sure. But you can't take them seriously when they get into a fight. I saw a bar fight one night and one guy was like, Oh, you're going down. No, you're going down. I was like, oh. care who wins. <laughs> I bet one of them's gonna bake cookies. But it's cold up there, isn't it? Oh yeah. yeah well, Minnesotans, so you guys are the ones walking around when it's 14 degrees outside and like flip flops and shorts and oh, we're having a heat weave. <laughs> like, to the rest of us, it's really cold. When I was up there in January, it was negative 24 degrees. I know, I sprained a nipple. <laughs> I didn't know that could happen. You don't believe me, it was weird. It went from nothing to <laughs> <laughs> It was just dangling there. Like a gummy worm. That was too far. That was... All the guys in the audience are getting really uncomfortable. I was concerned, because they don't make braces for something like that. I thought about tying a popsicle stick to it so it'd heal upright. You know, I don't want weird, knobbly nerps, you know? It'd be weird. I don't know why they wiggle like that. It'd be weird if they, if they did, I would totally be a stripper. <laughs> I would make a lot more money, thank you. I got it all figured out in my head now. That's exactly what I would do. And I would keep my top on for like a really long time. And at the very end, just pop it off. And so all the guys standing around trying to give me dollar bills would be like, yeah. <laughs> That's me picking up dollar bills with my nerps right there. That's what I'm doing. That's me clapping for myself with my nerps. That's my nerps gently blowing in the breeze. Okay. So I'm single. What a shock. What a shock. Go sit with that lady. I find most of my relationships, I break up over road trips. Anybody, I feel like if you guys are married, you survived a road trip. That's where mine always goes bad. Last one I was on, I was on a road trip with this guy and I had to pee and he wouldn't pull over. 
Right, which I thought was mean enough. And this was in Texas, so what he said next makes sense to me, maybe not to you. But he said, well, I'm going to pull over. There's a Burger King cup in the car. And I'm like, what does that have to do with anything? <laughs> like, that is not an option. You know, and he was like, well, you can just pee in the cup. I'm like, what do you think I am, magic? <laughs> like, I can pee in a cup in a car, and I can fart rainbows and poop Skittles? Like... <laughs> Doesn't work that way. And in his day, he was saying that it's because guys, I guess, can pee in a beer bottle top in a moving car. And I've seen it happen. I grew up in Texas. <laughs> Which I think is really impressive that you guys can pee in the top of a beer bottle in a moving car, but not hit the toilet bowl hole at home. <laughs> hey guys, my name's Kristen Key. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs>